Our region is the hometown for some of the best athletes on the planet. You know Jason Tatum, you know Max Scherzer, and you know Josh Sargent to name a few. But there are some more athletes I need to introduce you to. They play a loud competitive game and are among the best in the entire world at their sport. And so we head to the wheelchair rugby court for tonight's Spotlight Story. The tools of the trade may look a bit different than other sports you're used to, but the bumps and bruises acquired on the wheelchair rugby court are second to none. Uh, I've had to have uh, surgery on my thumb to get that put back together. Had a few pins in there, um, torn labrum in my shoulder, chip fractures in my elbows. I blew my kneecap off once. Missing a tooth on this side. Having an opportunity to show people that just because we have a disability doesn't mean we're fragile. We're going out there competing just as any athlete would. Jack, you're inbound and Kai, you're with me. And St. Louis is turning into a wheelchair rugby hotbed. This trio of St. Louis's Sarah Adam, Godfrey's Eric Newby, and Freeburg's Jake Daly just got back from a trip to Denmark with the U.S. national team. They returned with silver medals at the Wheelchair Rugby World Championships. It's, it's pretty crazy, and honestly, when you're, uh, when you're working out at home and stuff on your own, you don't really think about it. Uh, and then when those big events finish and you're like, oh man, I got a silver medal, it stings at first, and then you're like, okay, you know, I'm second in the world at something. It's, it's still pretty awesome. We see that pick. And as you may have already suspected, this bond goes far beyond the court. Wheelchair rugby has helped player after player adapt to their new circumstances. Started playing right after I broke my neck. Um, and it was just at that time uh, a cool way to get some exercise and hang out with other people in wheelchairs and just kind of learn a little bit more about this new life. Learning about different ways to manage aspects of your life, how to get in and out of a car, how to, you know, make uh, a trip to the bathroom more efficient, how to take a shower in a hotel room that's not accessible, how to just get over a lot of obstacles that life throws at you. It, uh, my first year on the team, you know, people walked me through how to get a vehicle adapted, how to get back into school. I mean, just count, countless things that have been given to me through this sport. When I first started playing, I was 18. I just gotten hurt the night of high school graduation. And uh, I was kind of lost, you know, and I came here. And uh, it turned into a room of just friends in similar situations. Get off that, get off that. Wheelchair rugby has given these athletes friendships and memories to last a lifetime. But like any sport, there's always that next goal and the 2024 Paralympics in France are circled on the calendar. I'd say for me it's continuing to build relationships and meet new people and uh, obviously a gold medal in, in Paris would be great, pretty great. Don't be content. If, he, if you get a snag on him, make sure you can get off. Keep working. And if you want to see this St. Louis team go at it in person, you can check out the wheelchair rugby tournament coming up at Parkway Central High School the weekend of December 10th. We'll be right back.